Hello children, I welcome you all to your English class. I hope you all are doing fine. Children, for today's English lesson, we are going to continue with the expert detectives chapter from your honeycomb book. And in this chapter, we are going to continue from the part where the narrator had picked up a pen and a paper and she was going to write something. Let's see what she decides to write or why she has done so. So, this is the second part. So, moving ahead, I wrote in large block letters. So, what did she write? She wrote, catching a crook. Crook, I have already told you, crook means what? Cheat. Cheater, right? Who cheats people? Expert detectives, Nishad and Maya Pandit. So, whose name did she write? She wrote Maya and Nishad. Okay? By appointment to the whole world. Yes, children, when you are doing all these things, sometimes these are kids, actually they are kids, they are children. So they are thinking that they are doing favor to the whole world. So they are appointed by the whole world. Then I began writing. About half an hour later, I turned towards Seven, who was lying on his tummy, chin cupped in his palms. Reading comics. So yes, I told you Nishad and Maya both were children. Okay, so this uh, they were uh, like he was reading comic book and he was lying on his stomach. You know this posture, right? You might have sat a long uh, time like you have cupped your chin here. Cupping means to bring it in your cup, right? So what did he do? He was like, he sat like this and with that he read the comic book attentively okay so he was reading it want to hear what i have written so uh, because he was so busy so engrossed in reading the comic book so maya asked him do you want to know what i have written it means i have written something in the paper so are you interested he looked up question questioningly yes so he had a lot of questions because he was not sure what she had written so I have listed all the facts we know about Mr. Nath, which might help us to trap him. I said, want to hear? So, because he could not understand that what I am supposed to hear, what I need to uh, know about what she has written. So, she said that I have listed all the facts, all the information that we have got about Mr. Nath. And now, from this, we are going to trap him. We are going to solve this case we want to find out whether he is criminal or not seven nodded so when she said you want to hear or not so he said yes okay tell me fact number one i read what is the fact of no, uh, fact number one his name is okay so we must discover his first name so what is the first task they have to do because they just know his surname so they also need to find his name okay children so with this, do you think that his real name, that this is his real name? So she asked Nishad uh, that, uh, actually Nishad asked Maya that, do you think that this name is for real? He is really Mr. Nath? Probably not. I said, most crooks have an alias. Alias means for children, a different name. A name by which they act means also known as kind of thing AKS. I added a big question mark after not. So what did Maya do? Because Maya has written it down on the paper. So whether uh, his name was not or not, this was also questionable. So she put a question mark closer to not. Okay. So alias is alternate name. Okay children. Now fact number two. I read on. What is fact number two? The tenants at Shankar house say he is mad, strange and unfriendly. So what did the tenants? Tenants are people who are staying on rent. Okay. They have to, they are paying the uh, bills there. They are paying the house bills. They are staying on rent there. And they have said the tenants are usually the Kiraida, right, children? So Kiraida are called the tenants, a person who pays rent for using a room. Yes, 
so what what do the tenants say that mr nath is mad okay and he is strange and very unfriendly means he is he doesn't talk to people much number 3 he doesn't talk to anyone and is mannerless okay so this person do not have any manners okay so having no manners mannerless is having no manners but he did talk to us maya so nishad interrupted here we can see that and uh, mamma says he is very polite so what uh, what did nishad say that yes but he did talk to us we cannot say that he is mannerless and ma mother also said mamma also said what that he is very polite polite means someone who is very much uh, can't you know, when he is speaking or who is very much uh, like uh, gentle okay gentle with his words nishad interrupted he only talked to us because he had to maya said that you know what he talked to us because he had to uh, he was being forced and since he was under his mamma's medical treatment he had to be polite so he cannot be rude with mother because he was under the treatment by our mother only he was under the medical treatment of mamma so he has to be polite okay he cannot be rude with a doctor fact number 4 he doesn't receive any letters so whatever whoever is sending him any letters he doesn't receive them yes seven not any yes sir. he said okay he did not interrupt here he was okay with this fact okay number 5 he has been living in room 10 of shankar house for more than a year so it has been more than a year he has been staying uh, in in uh, in room number 10 of shankar house yes i continued okay children i hope this story is clear to you they are finding they are trying to find out about this mr nath okay now moving ahead with number 6 she has made this points he doesn't work and sits in his room all day so yes as mr mehta has already told them that he wasn't working this was fact number 6 that he sits in his room all day number 7 the kids in shankar house and even some of the grown ups are scared of him so the kids because he is not very much polite with them he always scolds them and even some grown ups are scared of mr nath okay children number 6 he has no visitors except for a spectacled fair fat man who visits him on sundays for lunch so there is no visitor he uh, he meets uh, with visitors only on like only on, on he have only he has only one visitor that is who that is a spectacle fair tall and fat man yes number 9 food and tea are taken to his room by ramesh from the restaurant downstairs okay so who carries the food ramesh carries it and he uh, orders it everything in his room only he doesn't care what he eats so yes ramesh has already informed ramesh have already uh, ramesh has already informed that he eats in his room only and pays the bill in cash and tips well that's and my list have i forgotten anything seven so she asked him uh, we know all these facts do you think i have forgotten anything okay now nishal had obviously not been paying too much attention to the list of facts all he could say was poor man maya he must be so lonely if he doesn't have any friends okay so we can see that nishal was thinking something else nishad's point of view perspective was completely different from maya's 
yes so he said he must be so lonely okay because he has no friends yes how can a crook have friends okay idiot i almost shouted so maya said how can a crook how can a cheat how can a cheater have any uh, has any have any friends right at least he has one friend the one who meets him on sundays so nishad said okay Nis, uh, nishad was at least uh, happy that he has at least one friend who comes and meets him on sundays yes okay a brilliant thought occurred to me just then okay that means what that person can be a resource maybe that man must be mr nath's accomplice in crime yes accomplice is a person children who actually becomes your confidant in a crime who supports you in your crime right so here accomplice is a, is someone who will be a partner in crime okay who is going to help you in that crime support you now we see i said maybe he keeps all the loot and he comes now and then to keep give a part give it to his partner okay so what did maya conclude maya said that maybe he is the partner in crime and all the loot means all the articles stolen or all the uh, all the treasure that is accumulated that is collected that is taken by them is with this accomplice this person who comes to meet him on sundays so uh, this thing we see here that mr nath for expenses that's it i am sure i'm right so maya was so confident that he comes to meet uh, mr nath on sundays and give him a part of the loot and this way he runs his expense mr nath okay that's why he do not he doesn't need to work yes now ramesh probably know something about his past so mr nath must be bribing him to keep quiet so what did maya say maya say said that she, uh, he must be knowing some secrets he must be knowing uh, something about mr nath's past so he must be bribing uh, that man the spectacled man uh, to keep his mouth close to keep his mouth shut nishad glared at me with his arms tightly crossed across his chest like this yes he was glaring glaring means without blinking he was looking at my arm now i was beginning to get fed up with him yes his actions were not appropriate so so she was getting fed Ah, uh, how can we make any progress with our investigations if you take that attitude, Seven? So she said, "We are investigating a case, Seven. And if you behave like this, how are we going to find any truth about this case? I will cooperate only if you give up this idea about him being an escaped crook." Crook. So what did Seven say? Seven said that you are concluding beforehand only that he is a crook, he is a criminal. You are not thinking it otherwise. When you give up this idea that he is not a crook, then only I am going to probably listen to you and support you in the story. Cooperate. Okay. You really make me angry. So now, said uh, Seven, you really make me angry. Seven said that your all these conclusions are really making me. annoyed making me feel angry i almost hit him i make you angry you stupid of okay so the, this thing you are stupid and she was so angry my was so angry at him when he said that you are making me angry that she almost hit him okay i shouted you make me mad okay 
What is the point of all these enquiries if he is not a crook? So why are we enquiring about this person if he is not a cheat? If we, we know that he is innocent, why are we enquiring? If you think he is a nobody, what is the idea of bothering about him? Please tell me. So she said that if you think that he is not a bad person, he is not evil, so why are we bothering to investigate this case? We shouldn't, right? We should just leave this case. Okay. Now, maybe no one's tried to make friends with him. Nishat protested. He said that because no one is friends with him. That's why maybe this is the problem. Okay, so we, uh, we skipped one part. Let's read that one also. Nishad looked thoughtful. I'd like to find out why he's so thin and why he's so lonely. I want to know why he doesn't have any friends and leaves alone. So what, uh, why do he want to, what, uh, means what investigation, what investigation uh, does Nishad want to do? Nishad want to find out that why doesn't he have any friends? Okay, so now is, let's see. Try to understand seven. I told him if he is uh, he's lived in Shankar house for a year and hasn't made a single friend, there's something wrong. He is obviously scared that someone will recognize him and give him up to the cops. Cops we already know children. We have learned this in your Sophie's chapter. Cops means police, right? Policeman. Now policeman here. So here what, uh, what she said, Maya said that he is not making too many friends because he, he is scared that it might reveal his true identity. Yes, they may recognize him and give him to the cops. Now, maybe no one's tried to make friends with him. That's why he's alone. Nishad said maybe no one tried to become his friend. Why should anyone bother? You have seen what a nasty bear is. So, uh, what did Maya say? That no one will bother to become or to... Uh, be friendly, uh, make him friend, befriend him because he is so nasty, he is so intolerable, he has so high temper, he is always so angry. He doesn't like to make friends. Friends, uh, okay, I don't care, said Nishad stubbornly. So he was stubborn here. He did not want to listen to Maya. He was stubborn. I like him and I am going to try and be his friend. So he said, I like Mr. Nath. I am going to befriend him. I am going to become his friend. Friends with a crook. So Maya was really surprised. Shocked. She's, she said that you are going to befriend a crook. You are going to become friends with a cheat. You are crazy, Seven. I said, the cops will take you to jail with him. Do you want this to happen? Uh... You idiot, so the cops will arrest you as well. Okay, she said, she was very concerned about Nishad. She said, if the cops come to know that you are, and you are becoming a friend of a crook, then they are going to arrest you as well. Okay. Nishad merely glared at me and quietly walked out of the room. So he did not speak after that. He just quietly walked out of the room. My theory seemed to have made no impression on him at all. So all the facts that she said, all those theories she made, had no impact on Nishra. Yes, children? So with this, you see we have uh, completed this chapter. Okay, so this was just a part of it. Obviously, the story might have been really big. So, with this children, we are concluding our video lesson as well. 
we are going to write the uh, meanings question answers in our next video lesson till then please take care of yourself and your family bye bye